Congratulations. You have joined the thousands of police, military, corrections, and other law enforcement agencies that have made Point Blank and PACA Body Armor the most trusted names in the body armor industry. For over three decades, Point Blank and PACA Body Armor have designed, manufactured, and delivered the highest quality protective solutions which consistently exceed National Institute of Justice, military, and international standards. We are committed to discovering innovations that enhance ballistic performance while rapidly responding to the needs of our customers. Our lead times are the best in the industry and are a testament to the professional commitment of every employee whose mission is to provide the highest level of customer safety and satisfaction. During this presentation, you will have the opportunity to learn more about the Fit Right for Life program. This program is designed to help you gain valuable information about sizing, fit, adjustability, wearability, storage, and maintenance of your body armor. The Fit for Life program understands that your body armor not only has to meet the demands of your work, but also has to perform comfortably around the clock. Providing the best combination of protection and comfort requires the right fit based on your individual preference and needs. We utilize a fusion of two measurement methods. Method one utilizes a series of sizing vests and method two involves body tape measurements. Both of these methods will yield optimal results in obtaining the most accurate size and fit so that your body armor performs and delivers as promised. Sizing body armor, method one, utilizing sizing vests for male officers. Utilizing sizing vests, the manufacturer representative can place the vest on the officer and evaluate the appropriate measurements while the vest is worn. This allows the wearer to not only experience the appropriate coverage area of the vest, but also the proper fit in real time. The procedure for measuring male officers involves the following steps. The officer should be wearing duty pants and duty belt and t-shirt. No jeans or BDUs since law enforcement duty pants ride higher than other types of garments and this will affect fit while in uniform. Use the navel as a reference point when measuring the torso around the waist. Add approximately six inches to the measurement. This will help you select the right sizing vest to start the process. When I use the measuring tape around the waist, I got a measurement of 39. We don't use odd sizes, so I went up to a 40. I added six inches to the 40, which gave me a 46, so I will start with a 46 inch sizing vest. Take corresponding sizing vest and then place on the officer. Adjust the sizing vest to the proper position. The top of the front panel should be just below the sternum notch. The top of the back panel should dip even with the top of your shoulders. Tighten side straps to officer preference. Check the side coverage to ensure the appropriate butt fit or small gap of one half inch or overlap of one to two inches. Right now, this officer is sized for a 46 regular sizing vest. This is what we calculated by using the tape and adding six inches. He has a butt fit on the sides. If he requires or the department requires a one inch overlap, we can go up one vest size to a 48 regular, which will give us one more inch on the sides and will give us a one inch overlap. If an overlap is preferred, then the officer should place the request for an overlap at the time he is sized for the vest and this must be documented in the original order. Go ahead and put your arms up in a driving position. Okay. Now as if you're going to be shooting, 
Check the vest with officer in the vehicle driving position to see if the vest is too big across the chest. What I'm looking for here is the width of the front panel. Right? When the officer is in the shooting position, I want to make sure that this is not so wide that it interferes when he's shooting or he's driving. Based on this vest size for Ryan, this fits him properly. If I find that this is too wide, what I can do is go down to the next front panel size, which will narrow the chest and make it easier for the officer in those positions. What I will also probably have to do to maintain my overlap of my butt fit on the sides is I will have to grow the back panel one size. Go ahead and stand up nice and tall for me, please. Ask the officer to stand up tall. No slouching. Check proper length of the back panel. Ensure the vest is above the duty belt. Use the sizing tape located at the bottom of the sizing vest to add or subtract vest length. In this case right here, I would add an inch to the back panel. Next, ask the officer to sit down in the chair. Check to ensure that the vest is above the duty belt, but not more than one half to one inch above the duty belt. This measurement is important because when the officer sits down as if he's driving in a police car or in the report room, historically the torso will shorten two or three inches. So we want to make sure that when he sits down, this vest is not resting on top of the gun belt. If it did, it would push the vest up into his throat and be very uncomfortable. If you have an officer that has a larger girth around the midsection, when they sit down, that girth might cause the vest to ride up a little bit. What you can do is have the officer loosen up these bottom straps so that the vest will ride over that area. If the vest still rides up, check to see how much of the vest needs to be removed from the bottom of the front panel. Once the officer has been fit with the sizing vest, it's important that you get his input as to how he feels it fits. Fine. Are you happy with the width here at the chest? Uh, yeah, yeah, this is fine. Okay. Are you happy with the, with the fit on the sides? We've got a butt fit here, you happy with that? Mm-hmm. How about the height of the back? Is that okay? We tried to get it up a little higher for you to give you more protection. Yeah, this works. We talked about adding a little bit to the length in the front and the back. Is that you happy with that? Yeah, that'll work. All right, great. Since body armor is one of the most important life-saving investments you and your agency will ever make, it is important to make sure your vest not only provides the highest quality protection, but also optimal comfort, adjustability, functionality, and performance. Obtaining the proper size is critical to ensuring optimal ballistic coverage and wearability. We are committed to helping you obtain the right size for your body armor and will work with you to ensure the optimal combination of fit, form, and function. Sizing body armor. Utilizing sizing vests for female officers. Since women's body shapes are different, it is important to evaluate the best size and fit of the vest based on individual specifications, which ensure the most protective coverage, maximum mobility, optimum functionality, and total comfort. Focusing on this need, our sizing procedure is designed to provide the best fit so that female officers can perform their job safely with the best combination of protection and comfort available today. When using the sizing vest to determine the best fit for female vests, start by evaluating the female's overall size and body shape. If the female is small in size, start with an extra small or small sizing vest. Use a medium to large size for average size females and large to extra large for larger frame females. The bust size also has to be considered when estimating which size to start with. If the female has a larger bust area, go up a size when estimating. The officer should be wearing duty pants and duty belt and t-shirt. Additionally, it's important that the female officer wear the same type of bra that is worn during duty to ensure the right fit. Place the sizing vest on the officer to make sure the front and back panel heights are adjusted properly. Look at the front panel and determine if the width at the top of the panel is covering as much of the upper chest as possible without interfering with the officer, putting her arms together in a shooting or driving position. If the panel is too wide, drop down to the next smaller vest size. We want to make sure that the front panel 
is just below your, your sternum notch right here, okay? About even with your second shirt button. In the back, we want to make sure that's up nice and high, just below the bone at the base of your neck right here, lined up with your shoulders. Also make sure that the chest area of the vest wraps around the breast as much as possible without being too wide at the upper vest portion. It is acceptable to use a smaller front panel and a larger back panel to fit the officer. Once the front panel fits properly, check the side coverage to ensure the appropriate butt fit or small gap of one half inch or overlap of one to two inches. If there is a significant gap and the front panel is the correct size, you will have to increase the back panel size to obtain the proper size fit. Tighten side straps to officer preference. If the officer requests or the department requires an overlap, we can obtain that overlap by raising the size of the back panel. It's also important that we document this on the sizing sheet that that officer did in fact make that request. Ask the officer to stand up tall. No slouching. Check proper length of the back panel. Ensure the vest is above the duty belt. Use the sizing tape located at the bottom of the sizing vest to add or subtract vest length. Next, ask the officer to sit down in the chair. Check to ensure that the vest is above the duty belt, but not more than one half to one inch above the duty belt. Use the sizing tape located at the bottom of the sizing vest to add or subtract vest length. If the vest rides up upon sitting down, have the officer loosen side straps so the vest goes over the stomach. If the vest still rides up, check to see how much of the vest needs to be removed from the bottom of the front panel. With the proper fit sizing vest in place, check with the officer and get her input regarding the fit. This seems to fit you pretty well, all right? Does this width right here feel okay when you're in the shooting position, the driving position? Yeah, it feels okay. pretty comfortable. Is this height okay right here yes. for you? All right. Is the back feel good for you? Does it feel well? It feels perfect. Okay. It's not hitting your underarms or anything? No. Okay. The length feel good? Feels good. Okay. Front and back? Front and back. Feels good when you're sitting? It feels comfortable. Okay. Sizing body armor method two, recording body tape measurements for male officers. Utilizing body tape measurements, the manufacturer representative can evaluate the appropriate size by recording the officer's weight and height, in addition to chest, waist, and length measurements in both sitting and standing positions. For best results, all measurements should be taken while the officer is wearing his uniform pants and duty belt. For a male officer, take the following measurements. Start the process by recording the officer's height and weight size. This information will need to be entered into the sizing form. Making sure the officer is wearing his uniform pants and his duty belt, the first measurement we're going to take is going to be the chest measurement. Go ahead and raise your arms up for me. Have the officer raise his arms up, wrap the tape around the widest part of the chest, coming across the shoulder blades in the back. Have him put his arms down, and you will take this front measurement. Record the chest measurement. The next measurement I'm going to take is going to be the waist measurement. This is also referred to as the girth measurement. Okay? It's actually a little bit above the waist, about even with where the navel is. Place the beginning of the tape measure in the middle of the stomach at the navel. Continue around the back and side until the tape measure meets where you started. Record the waist measurement. Now I'm going to take the front standing measurement. This measurement is taken from the base of the sternum notch down to the top of the duty belt. Place the beginning of the tape measure at the base of the sternum notch. Continue down to the top of the duty belt record the front length measurement. Now I'm going to take the back standing measurement. That measurement is taken from the bone at the base of the neck down to the top of the duty belt. Record the back length measurement. The last measurement I'm going to take is the front sitting measurement. Having the officer sitting in a chair, 
I'm going to take that measurement again from the base of the sternum notch down to the top of the duty belt. Record the front length measurement in the sitting position. When taking measurements for tactical vests, the officer should wear his tactical uniform and tactical belt. Standing measurements need to be taken for the front and back, utilizing the tape measure and measuring from the sternum notch to the top of the duty belt for the front length and placing the tape measure at the large bone at the base of the neck and continuing down to the top of the duty belt for the back. Chest and waist measurement will also need to be recorded. Sitting front measurement is not required. Information will need to be entered into the sizing form accordingly. Once these measurements are established, the point blank or PACA representative will be able to determine the appropriate size of the officer's vest. Sizing body armor method two, recording body tape measurements for female officers. For best results, all measurements should be taken while the officer is wearing her uniform pants and duty belt. Does it matter what bra I'm wearing when I'm getting fitted for a vest? Yes, it does. You should be wearing the bra that you would normally wear when you're on duty. You can ensure the proper fit. Start the process by recording the officer's height, weight, and bra cup size. This information will need to be entered into the sizing form. For chest measurements in the standing position, the officer will need to raise her arms to shoulder level. Place the beginning of the tape measure in the middle of the widest point of the chest. Continue around under the arms and across the shoulder blades until the tape measure meets the starting point, keeping the tape measure straight and snug, not tight. Ask the officer being measured to drop her arms to the sides. Record the chest measurement. For waist measurement in standing position, place the beginning of the tape measure in the middle of the stomach at the navel. Continue around the back and side until the tape measure meets where you started. Record the waist measurement. For the front length measurement in standing position, place the tape measure at the sternum notch. Continue down to the top of the duty belt. Record the front length measurement. For the back length measurement in standing position, place the beginning of the tape measure at the large bone at the base of the neck. Continue down to the top of the duty belt. Record the back length measurement. The front length measurement is extremely important because when the officer sits down, their torso shortens. So we want to make sure that this measurement is correct so that the vest doesn't ride up when she sits down in the cruiser in a sitting position. For the front length measurement in sitting position, place the beginning of the tape measure at the sternum notch. Continue down to the top of the duty belt. Record the front length measurement in the sitting position. During the sizing process, it is equally important that okay. the officer communicates about the her length? preference for fit well, so that adjustments that can measure? be made accordingly. Ultimately, our goal is to ensure optimal protective coverage while maintaining the most comfortable fit for the officer. In short, both of these measurement methods have been specially developed to help ascertain the correct size for the officer. The manufacturer, representative, or distributor may utilize one of the options or a combination of both to ensure total accuracy. Inspecting your vest. When you first receive your vest, make sure that all the components of your concealable armor are present. This should include one front ballistic panel and one back ballistic panel already inserted into the carrier. One carrier, unless additional carrier is purchased. Four two inch side straps or two four inch side straps, depending on the order. One cummerbund, two pieces. Two neoprene shoulder straps. And a care and maintenance manual. The manual contains a warranty and customer response card. Take a minute to fill out the card. Since you wear the vest daily, please give us your professional opinion 
so that we can see your feedback and evaluate comfort, overall fit, quality of materials, and workmanship. Adjusting your vest. The right adjustability is absolutely essential in securing the right fit. Your PACA point blank vest has multiple points of adjustment in the shoulders and waist to provide a proper fit. The shoulder portion of the carrier has an internal strapping feature which allows the neoprene straps to be inserted into split Velcro fastener tabs which are integrated into the ballistic panel. This is commonly referred to as the gator mouth. Upon placing the neoprene strap into the gator mouth, complete the process for the front and back panels. Only Point Blank and PACA Body Armor products have this exclusive self-suspending ballistic system design technology. This highly effective low-profile suspension system keeps the ballistic panels completely suspended while ensuring optimum protective coverage. Body armor without this exclusive technology can result in rolling, sagging and bunching which can jeopardize the integrity and performance of the ballistic panels. Once the neoprene shoulder straps are securely placed within the gator mouth, place the vest over your head. Move the front panel up or down so that the neckline is located near the second shirt button on your uniform shirt. The neckline of the rear panel should fall just below the large bone at the base of the neck. In some cases, if the neckline of the vest sits too low, the neoprene shoulder straps may be too long. As a result, this will make the vest sit lower on your torso than recommended. If the vest sits too low, it may hit the top of your duty belt in the front when seated, or the back panel may hit the top of the duty belt when standing. The height adjustment of your vest is corrected by either shortening the neoprene straps to raise the vest, or moving the neoprene straps further out from the Velcro fastener tabs to lower the vest. The vest can be lowered up to approximately one half inch using the straps. To raise the vest, open the Velcro fastener tabs from the shoulders and release the neoprene straps. Remove the straps and cut only one half inch of the strap off. Repeat this process for both sides and make sure to cut the same amount. Open the Velcro fastener tabs and reinsert the neoprene straps into the base of the gator mouth. Try on the vest again. If the vest is still too long, you may have to make several one half inch cuts before the vest reaches its proper height against the torso. Tip, bend the straps at the estimated desired cut line and fold over, then insert into the gator mouth. The crease will remain and will give you an indication of how much to cut without having to cut the straps excessively. This innovative suspension system helps maintain the original shape and coverage of the ballistic panels throughout the life of the vest. Your vest also includes four two-inch straps which offer eight-point adjustability. Do not over-tighten the vest. This will not only trap more heat next to the body, but may also hinder your physical performance, since a vest that is too tight will restrict the chest and lungs to fully expand when needed. Rather, secure the straps against the Velcro surface along the front and back panel at the first feeling of resistance from the elastic. The cummerbund also provides a more secure fit along the waist. It should be fastened to the back panel using the small Velcro hook end. The larger Velcro hook and loop areas fasten the cummerbund around the officer's waist. If the cummerbund is too long, simply remove the ends of the straps that are fastened to the back panel and move them further towards the back. If the cummerbund is too short, contact your distributor or manufacturer representative and longer cummerbunds will be provided. The officer can also wear the vest without the cummerbund based on their individual preference.
As a general rule, the front ballistic panel should be approximately two inches off the top edge of the duty belt when standing, and ideally positioned at the second button on your uniform shirt. When sitting, the bottom of the front panel should be just above the duty belt, a minimum of approximately a finger width of space. The space between the bottom edge of the front armor panel and the top edge of the duty belt is required so that when you sit down, this space will close and the vest panel should be positioned above the top edge of the duty belt. The vest should not ride up into the throat in the sitting position. The neckline of the rear panel should fall just below the large bone at the base of the neck and even with the tops of the shoulders. While standing, the back of the vest should fall just above the duty belt. Use one finger width of space as a reference point. Having the space between your duty belt and the bottom of the back panel prevents the vest from riding up when going from a sitting to a standing position. The most preferred option is to have your vest fitted whereas the side panels butt against each other when standing. A small gap of half an inch is also acceptable. Although you may initially want the sides to overlap, it is important to recognize that this can make a vest much more uncomfortable by creating more bulk. If your panels leave a significant gap on the sides, be sure that the front and back panels are centered properly on your upper body. If there is still a considerable gap, contact your manufacturer's representative or local distributor. Moreover, if overlap is preferred, then the officer should place the request for an overlap at the time he or she is sized for the vest, and this must be documented in the original order. Doing so will ensure the order is entered correctly and the officer's needs are properly met. Concealable vests' outer shells with removable ballistics should be cleaned in the following method. Remove ballistic panels from the front and back of the outer shell. Close or remove all Velcro fasteners before washing the outer shell. The outer shell can be hand washed with mild detergent or automatic machine wash the overall shell using permanent press cycle only at medium water temperature not to exceed 120 degrees. Use low suds detergent according to detergent manufacturer's directions. Air dry or machine dry with low temperature settings. Do not use bleach. Only the outer shell may be commercially dry cleaned. Outer shell must be completely dry before inserting the ballistic panels. Removable ballistic panels or body armor with permanent non-removable ballistics should be cleaned in the following method. Do not immerse in liquid. Gently hand wash with a damp sponge or washcloth using mild detergent. Wipe off any excess detergent with a damp sponge or washcloth using clean water. Wipe dry or allow to air dry. Do not dry clean, machine wash, or bleach. Do not dry outdoors in the sun. Storage of body armor. Improper storage of your body armor may contribute to premature wear, as well as reduce the protective capabilities of the ballistic system itself. When you are not wearing your body armor, it should be stored under normal environmental conditions. Storage at room temperatures in your locker or closet is recommended. Care should be taken to store your body armor flat, either on a shelf or other flat surface. Your body armor should never be folded or stood on its edge. This improper storage will create set wrinkles in your body armor and may cause curling at the edges. Your body armor should never be stored in the trunk of a vehicle where it may be exposed to extremely high temperatures. High temperatures may affect the strength of some fibers, which could diminish the performance of your body armor. Your body armor is an important part of your safety equipment. It has to be worn properly in order for it to function as designed. 
Before and after donning your armor, make sure that the ballistic panels are in the proper position within the carrier and that the suspension straps are properly engaged. Please follow the label instructions on the ballistic panel to determine which side of the panel needs to face the body. Our dedicated R&D and garment design department are committed to developing quality styled products with the highest level of ergonomic fit and finish. This combination of ballistic expertise and garment design provides a seamless culmination of the most advanced body armor systems unparalleled in ballistic protection and comfort. We are proud to design, produce, and deliver the highest quality protective solutions by continuously exceeding your expectations. Because nothing is more important than your safety on the job, we drive innovation in everything we do. At Point Blank and Pack a Body Armor, officer safety is number one.